It's runtime, and today is Thursday, September 11th, so here's everything that happened in Indian tech in the last 24 hours. First of all, a Pune-based space tech startup called Astrophel Aerospace has developed an indigenous cryogenic pump that spins at 25,000 RPM and is now undergoing testing at ISRO facilities, and this pump will eventually be upgraded into a turbo pump by the end of 2026. Now, for those of you who don't know what a turbo pump is, Astrophel's current pump relies on external power power to run, and mainly it's for proving Astrofell's ability to engineer complex cryogenic hardware, but this future turbo pump will be integrated with a gas turbine powered by the rocket's own fuel, so it'll be self-sustaining and capable of delivering up to 600 horsepower, which is about four times more horsepower than a normal family sedan, and it's even more than a sports car like the Porsche 911. Now, in the long term, Astrofell wants to build rockets, and so they're primarily developing this pump for their own Astra C1 launch vehicle. By the end of 2026, their turbo pump will be integrated into the rocket's first and second stage engines. But at the same time, Astrofell is also looking at becoming a potential supplier of cryogenic subcomponents, signing MOUs with global partners, and exploring export opportunities as well. And one of the advantages that Astrofell has here is that they're taking a very lean approach to manufacturing, so they want to cut production costs by up to 40%, which makes them very competitive as an OEM. And I'll just wrap up with a quote from one of Astrofell's founders, Soyash Bhafna. He said, This milestone is a testament to how India can indigenously develop advanced propulsion technologies at a fraction of global costs. All right, next up, people are a little bit surprised to discover how much the iPhone 17 Pro with 256 gigabytes of storage costs in India. You can see this INR comparison by a user on X, where iPhones are cheapest in the United States at the US dollar equivalent of 96,900 rupees and the most expensive in India, at nearly 1.34 lakh rupees. That's more expensive than Hong Kong, Japan, UAE, Vietnam, and Singapore. And the reason why people are surprised by this is that the iPhone 17 team is being assembled across five factories in India now, including Tata's brand new Hoser plant and Foxconn's 300-acre plant just west of Kempegoda International Airport. So I think a lot of people expected the price of iPhones to drop because of how many of them are being made in India, or at least be competitive with other countries, but that's just not the case. All right, next up, Sarvam's monthly newsletter just dropped, and there's a bunch of information here. First of all, they've released multiple updates to their API. One of those updates is that 8 kilohertz sample rate is now supported for streaming speech to text, which means that it's easier to work with telephony and low bandwidth audio. Uh, they're also offering GST invoices in their dashboard now for streamlined billing. After that, Sarvam has introduced new pricing plans. The starter is free and comes with 1,000 credits and 60 requests per minute. And then you've got Pro for 10,000 rupees. You get 11,000 credits and 200 requests per minute. And this comes with email support. And then they're also offering a business plan for 50,000 rupees. You get 57,500 credits and 1,000 requests per minute. And this comes with Slack and solutions engineering support. And interestingly, credits never expire with these pricing plans so you can use them as slowly as you want to. Sarum also announced that their upcoming text-to-speech model, Bobo V3, is now open in beta, and so people can actually go on Sarvam's Discord and apply to become beta testers for that model. And then finally, just something fun here, Sarvam highlighted a Chrome extension that rewrites AI-generated text to sound naturally human. And it uses Sarvam's chat API to bypass AI content detectors, so I gave it a try, and honestly, I think it actually made the content feel a little bit more AI-generated, but I'm not an AI content detector myself, so maybe it just looks AI-generated to the human eye, but it fools detectors. I, I'm not really sure. But anyways, moving on to the next news item here now, Google is following OpenAI's lead by discounting their AI. They've rolled out Google AI+, Plus, a new subscription plan that is designed to make Gemini and other Google AI tools more affordable. And this would cost about 400 rupees per month compared to ChatGPT Go's 399 rupees per month if it were available in India. And that's the catch here because Indonesia is actually the first country to get AI+, although Google is planning to expand to more markets soon. And so subscribers to AI+, get access to Gemini 2.5 Pro, Notebook LM, and creative tools like Flow, Whisk, and VO3 for video generation. 
All right, next up, Noida the based drone startup Endure Air Systems has raised 25 crore rupees in a round led by AIN Alpha Fund, and the round also saw participation from AIN Angel Fund as well. And they're going to be using these funds to strengthen their tech, expand into enterprise markets, and accelerate work on high-altitude logistics drones. The company was founded in 2018, and they design and manufacture UAVs in-house, and they've got eight patents in flight dynamics and autonomy. They sell three different types of drones, Subal, a heavy lift logistics drone, Vibram, which supported Telangana's medicine from the Sky program, and Alok Nano UAVs used in rescue operations and discrete surveillance. All right, that is all of the Indian tech news that I have for you all today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to join our exclusive WhatsApp community, just head over to the Runtime account on X, DM that account, and just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're building, and we'll send you access. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.